You're watching From the Heart with John Willard. Hi friends, John Willard here. Great show today about these beautiful Ozarks. And remember, the subscribe button below for CNA TV. Friends, this may be one of the most invigorating shows I have done. The Ozarks in Southwest Missouri. Boyhood homes of Nagi and Naka. If you can't load up and come here, then come. Take the journey with me. There is no place on earth to match this area. Crystal springs by the hundreds. Bubbling fresh springs and even more caves. The Ozarks are sights, sounds, and scenery. And Nagi lived in many of them. White Oak Collar in Missouri, close to the Arkansas state line, where drinking water rolled out from under the hill, and he filled his bucket and carried it to the kitchen and dropped the drinking dipper in. Hmm, never had water that good since. A rock house in Coy with Patterson Creek running close to the home. Oh, so clear, you could see every pebble. A country store was once there. All that's left is a rotting grocery sign and concrete remnants that Nagi cleaned around with a weed hook. In Lanigan, on 59 Highway by Elk River, where the fishing was relaxing as your best dreams. Nogi lived on a small acreage on F Highway. His closest neighbors were the Shavers. Kenneth, a slow-talking, chain-smoking hill dweller that could out-trade anyone but good neighbors. Everything has a purpose in the Ozarks. Noggy lived on K Highway, Huckleberry Ridge, adjoining the Huckleberry State Forest. These narrow two-lane roads, hilly and winding curves, Oh, such beauty, you wonder if they will ever end in civilization. The Ozark Forest, a dreamscape. Most beautiful of all, Highway 59 Drive. Oh, the Knoll Bluffs overhanging the highway on one side, with Elk River on the other. Mm-mm, breathtaking. Every time you drive these twisting, roller coaster like roads, it's as magical as the first time. Places where you can pull over, fill your hands with cold water running from under the hills. Drink all you want, then stand and breathe in the freshest air on this planet. Or once was when Nagi was there. Mm, this curious place. It's curious mystique. It gets to you. It becomes a panacea. Land of Oz? Perhaps. In the Ozarks. This Ozark area and the people shaped me to become a storyteller. This beauty, these people, and the people living in these Ozarks. I have never ending stories to share with you. 
As an anonymous person said, you can't wait for inspiration. You must go after it with a club. <laughs> and memories, recall of past times, lies the sanity of us all. We're all part of each other. Friends, I couldn't sell you my life experiences for what they cost me. You could not afford it. But with Naka's help, I can share them for free. I've drained the cup of disappointment and pain and gone many days without song. But I've sipped enough nectar from the roses of life to make me want to live on. One of our objects in life should be to find happiness, contentment. The means of happiness are surprisingly simple. We need not be rich or high placed or powerful in order to be content. In fact, the lowly are often the best satisfied. A simple life be thankful that there are so many things in the world of which we have no need. Ozark people talk with flavor, and in the Ozarks, that is pronounced flyver. <laughs> and nothing shows more character than grits, fried chicken, gravy, poke salad, mushrooms, all washed down with some hot, sassy, fresh root tea. Mmm, mmm. Talk about living off the land. Just the names of these Ozark people has the Ozark ring to it. I'll share some of these in the future. Joe Boy, Nora, Pick Blackwell, Paul and Ma Davis, Kenneth Shaver, Doc McCracken, and how Nagy sat on his sister's porch in Anderson, across the street from Dabs, and they looked at each other for what seemed to be forever. Then Dabs waved hi to Nagy. <laughs> and yes, it was that Dabs Greer that played the preacher on Little House on the Prairie television series. Mm -mm. Robert Ingersoll once said, The time to be happy is now. The place to be happy is here. The way to be happy is to make others so. The Ozarks, the Ozarkian people, maybe this is what helps one to be a survivor. Painful personal revelations and the love of the Ozarks and the people there. It makes the hurt all better. Many of us merely exist. We think that we live. What we should regain at all cost is freshness and intensity of being. We speak of the comfort and ease of old age, but our noblest selves do not really desire them. We want to do more than exist we want to be alive to the very last. My years are quickly flowing by. Am I missing anything on this journey? Oh, to miss anything would be sad. The true value of anything 
lies not in its legal possession, there are no surer means of happiness than enjoying that which you do not possess. See the beauty and thrill of these Ozarks with an inner satisfaction. Be the best that is in you. Make the most of what you have and are. My final thought. I can't say much for my past, but my future is spotless. <laughs> the best is yet to be. Many things will catch your eye, but only a few will catch your heart. Pursue those. You can reach me on Twitter at John Willard 47 This is John Willard from the farm.